Hi guys, welcome to DNA and protein synthesis. You need to be able to describe what the genetic code is and its main features, describe the structure of RNA and its types, mRNA and tRNA. So in terms of the specification, we will be looking at the process of protein synthesis with the differences in prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. So few definitions, what is a genome? It's a complete set of genes in a cell including mitochondria and or chloroplast if we're talking about uh, genes in them in the uh, plant cells proteome then it's a full set of proteins a cell is able to produce and codon it's a sequence of free bases on the mrna that codes for a single amino acid so what is then an RNA? RNA is a ribonucleic acid. It's a polynucleotide made of monomers called RNA nucleotide. It's a single strand, has a ribose sugar, so it's a pentose, five carbons in there, four bases, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and uracil. So that's the difference uh, between RNA and DNA, another difference because uh, DNA has a deoxyribose and same as DNA, they contain the phosphate group. We've got two types of uh, RNA, it's mRNA and tRNA, and they are different. So difference is coming from the structure and function. So messenger mRNA, it's single stranded, uh, it's made in the transcription of the protein synthesis carries the genetic code to the ribosome it's translated later into polypeptide it has a single gene log and different lengths depending on the length of the gene and the basis in triplets of so sequence of three nucleotides it's called codon found on mrna in terms of tRNA, it's still single strand, but as you can see on this picture, it's folded into a clover leaf shape. We've got here hydrogen bonds between complementary bases. The bases follows as guanine and cytosine, uracil and adenine. They carry amino acid to the ribosome in the process of translation. And we've got uh, here two interesting sites. So we've got the site at one end that uh, has a triplet called anticodon. And on the other side, we've got the binding sites for the amino acids. So uh, in terms of the size, they all have the same size. So that's the difference between mRNA and tRNA. To have a quick recap on structures of uh, nucleic acids, you can pause this video now and make a table that shows you differences between DNA, mRNA and tRNA. Once you're ready, let's get started with the protein synthesis. So in terms of the protein synthesis, we will be looking at stages as transcription. So the production of pre-mRNA, then follow by splicing, so the removal of Inchons, uh, inchons are non coding sequences, and finally, translation. So, the production of polypeptide from the codons carried by mRNA. So, uh, transcription, translation takes place in uh, prokaryotic cells, but splicing takes place in the eukaryotic cells. So what do we need for the protein synthesis? We need ribosomes, tRNA, and ATP. ATP is here needed to produce a peptide bond between amino acids. So we've mentioned introns, non-coding sequences, but also we can find exons, coding sequences. So the main difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells will be that eukaryotic cells has introns, but prokaryotic cells do not have introns. Hence, the process of protein synthesis in prokaryotic cells is quicker. So, how the process looks like? Um, we've got the uh, DNA, which of course we know it's double-stranded, but for the process of protein synthesis, DNA has to unwind to a single strand. And one of those single strands will act as a template. So um, process from uh, DNA to mRNA, to the production of mRNA, takes place in the nucleus, 
for the simple fact that DNA is found in the nucleus, cannot leave the cell. It's also found in the uh, mitochondria and chloroplast. Once the mRNA is produced, it's going to leave the nucleus through the nuclear pores. It's going to go to the cytoplasm on the ribosomes when the second process of protein synthesis, translation, so the uh, addition of the amino acids, production of polypeptide will take place. So how does it work? We've got triplets. So triplets is a sequence of uh, nucleotides of the bases on DNA. So those are our random triplets. Those random triplets then will be complementary to the uh, triplets on M. RNA with the fact that uh, we don't have timing so every time we've got adenine on there it has to bind with uracil so those are our complementary bases once mRNA is produced it's going to leave the nucleus through the nuclear pores go to the cytoplasm on the uh, ribosomes where the translation is going to take place so protein synthesis always starts with the start codon MET and uh, this codon is AUG. So that's the sequence brings the met amino acid, which is a start codon. Uh, following the next of the amino acids seen in this uh, polypeptide chains, those are based on the structure, on the sequence of the codons. So using the codon table, we can work out then what amino acid is going to be code okay so remember codon table using the sequence of mrna to determine the uh, amino acids produced in between those uh, amino acids we're going to have a peptide bond which is produced using atp start codon met is going to deattach when we've got at least uh, two uh, peptide bonds in our sequence between the amino acids and the stop codon it's going to tell you when the synthesis of this polypeptide it's going to finish so let's have a look through the notes now so to summarize this was process of transcription this is translation so transcription as we say the dna helicase enzyme will attach to dna at the start codon break the hydrogen bonds so it will make the uh, template for the protein synthesis to start so the complementary rna nucleotides now will line up with the dna bases uh, looking at the base pairs with the idea remember that uh, adenine binds with uracil and dna polymerase will be the enzyme that will join those nucleotides okay so dna uh, not dna sorry rna polymerase runs here joining those uh, bases together once it reaches the stop codon pre-mrna will be formed so pre-mRNA, as we've mentioned, it's only produced in eukaryotic cells. So if, if, uh, if the process of protein synthesis is taking place, transcription finishes with mRNA straight away. But if in eukaryotic cells we've got pre-mRNA, which has to be spliced. So what does that mean? That means that we will remove introns, the non-coding sequences. Once that's done, we've got mRNA. So what is the splicing? Splicing, it's the removal of introns, okay? So as you can see in the uh, template of DNA and then template in your pre-mRNA, you've got the mixture of exons and introns. So what we would like to see in mRNA will be only the coding sequence, only the sequence of exons. So introns are going to be spliced out. Once this is done, ready mRNA will leave the nucleus through the nuclear pores where the translation on the ribosomes will take place okay so according to the structure of a tRNA we've said they've got the specific anticodons which are complementary to codons on mRNA and they've got the binding sites for the amino acids so they're bringing in amino acids for, uh, for the uh, poly 
peptide. Okay, so how does it work then? mRNA will leave the nucleus, mRNA will attach to a ribosome, tRNA uh, will carry an amino acid with complementary anti 